how to manage full armyworm in three steps. Meet Sanjay. He grows corn to sell and feed his family. But Sanjay has found large worms in his field that he does not recognize. They are causing severe crop damage. Sanjay speaks to his local agricultural advisor, Annika. The pest attacking his corn is the full army worm. This is a new invasive pest recently found in the country. A single army worm moth lays hundreds of eggs, resulting in large larval populations. The larvae grow to be big and eat Sanjay's corn crop. Annika explains that full army worm can be managed by following three steps. Step 1. Use agronomic practices to manage full army worm populations. These include removing or killing cover crops prior to planting the corn, to plant with early rain to promote early crop growth and establish a good crop stand, and to control weeds during the season. Do not apply extra fertilizer to compensate for pest feeding. After harvest, destroy infested crop residue by tillage. The following season, rotate to non-host crops recommended by local agronomists. Agronomic practices are used in integrated pest management. This approach integrates multiple insect control methods, including spraying insecticides to control insect and mite pests. Step two is deciding when to spray an insecticide. It is important to start control measures when the larvae are small and the population size is low and little plant damage has occurred. Sanjay needs to spray when many corn leaves have small 1 to 2 cm size holes. Spraying too early may remove beneficial insects. But if he sprays too late, the larvae will be large and there may be too many to control. Excessive plant damage will also reduce yield. Fall armyworm are mostly a problem during the vegetative growth of corn, but they will also attack tassels in developing ears. Step 3 is using insecticides to control fall armyworm and to follow insecticide resistance management principles to delay resistance. Sanjay is happy to learn he can use the same resistance management window rotation strategy to control fall armyworm that he uses to control other pests. Relying on the same products causes resistance. Every insecticide has a mode of action that is represented by a number found on product labels. Sanjay can also ask his dealer, crop advisor and manufacturer representative for advice. Products with different modes of action numbers should be rotated to prevent insecticide resistance. Sanjay uses insecticides with the same mode of action number within a 30-day window. This is about the time for many insect pests to complete generation. In the next window, Sanjay uses products with different mode of action numbers. This helps delay resistance to the pest. Sanjay is happy as he can now control this new pest and feed his cattle and family. For more information on insecticide resistance prevention, visit irac.online.org.